Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jannard Wells. Welcome to Eat Well. Now, y'all know I'm a Mississippi boy. And if you don't know it, I'm quite sure you can hear it in the accent. So guess what we making today? Some Mississippi deep fried catfish. And then we're gonna make a sauce to go over the top of it. So all you need is two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of parsley, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, of course, Mississippi catfish filet, third of a cup of Caribbean Island fire sauce, you can get at chefgenard.com, or you can just use some hot sauce if you don't have it handy, third cup of spinach, third cup of vegetable stock, diced tomatoes, and you roughly want a half a cup of those, half a cup of flour, half a cup of meal, tablespoon of minced garlic, tablespoon of granulated onion powder, tablespoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of lemon pepper, and two stalks of celery. And don't forget, you need at least two cups of your favorite cooking oil, vegetable, canola, whatever you like, for frying. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure you get your oil nice and hot. While we got that going, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take this catfish, and what I like to do, you can leave your catfish whole, or split it right down the rib. I like to split it right down the rib, once I get it split down the rib, I take a little bit of my seasonings and I just dust it over the top of them, each one of the seasonings. You don't want to use all of the seasoning on dusting it because guess what we're doing? This is going in our batter. Now that you've coated those, you take your flour, you take your cornmeal, blend those together in there, your lemon pepper, all the remaining herbs that you have here. Blend all those in, get it mixed into the flour real good. Make sure you got it coated with your flour and your cornmeal. It's key that you blend these two batters. Now, you take your catfish, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure your catfish is coated real good in your batter. And once you get that coated real good, it's going into your frying oil. There we go. All right, now that we got the fish fried, now it's time to go into Jannar's special sauce. First thing you want to do is you want to get your butter and your skillet so that it can start melting down. And remember, go ahead and get your minced garlic and that skillet melting down with it as well. Now that you got those in there, now add those tomatoes to it, baby. Add those tomatoes and while those tomatoes, the minced garlic and butter are cooking, what you want to do is you want to take your celery stalk, half them. Then after you half them, we're going for a nice cool dice. Just dice them up real good. Now that we dice the nose up real good, we want to get that blended in. Woo, this is smelling good, guys. This is smelling good right here. Then that spinach, give it a moment to wilt down. Then now that you got the heat up on that, add that vegetable stock into it. Add our vegetable stock and the Caribbean Island Fire or hot sauce, whichever one you have handy. And we're gonna let that just cook until it reduces down and thicken up. Now we're gonna step over here. You always wanna make sure as your fish is fried, you keep it turned. Now your fish, you wanna fry your fish for at least 12 minutes, six minutes on each side, or until it starts to float. That means it's good and ready. Our sauce is reduced. And then from there, what you wanna do is you wanna pull your fish from the grease, set it in a separate plate, let it drain. While it's draining, we're gonna give this, this Mississippi Janard sauce a nice good stir. You can see all them herbs and spices are blending together, makes for a cool blend. And once it's finished, get you a nice little spoon and you just wanna ladle all those herbs and spices over the top of it. There you go, guys. That's that Mississippi Down South Catfish with that Chef Janard sauce on it. Hey, you can't go wrong. Once again, thank you for tuning in.